What's up, everybody? Um, okay, today's episode, I loved it. Let me just give y'all a background story on Wraith. It's, it slipped my mind who Wraith was. Wraith, for those of you who don't know, is actually Wraith Kovic Jr. Wraith Kovic Sr. is his father. The blonde woman is Allison Barrington. They're both from Port Charles. Allison was married to Ray Sr., but she had a romantic relationship with Caleb Morley, a.k.a. John McBain. Then when the show ended, she got pregnant with Rafe Jr., didn't know if Caleb or her husband Rafe Sr. was the father, just to shed some light on this. I forgot all about Rafe and Allison. I swear to God, I forgot all about it. I used to love Port Charles back in the day. I used to watch it all the time until it ended and Allison still looks gorgeous she looks you know dressed like a little hobo but she still look cute um I can't believe that's Rafe Kovic's son I cannot believe it like I remember before the kid was even born God good God almighty time has changed I cannot believe it's been 10 years since that show ended Jesus Christ and he's grown like he's a teenager now it's crazy um but yeah it was good to see allison again that's my girl i used to always have a crush on allison um anyway kevin collins great to see him um reunited with alexis and sam aka livy even though he never met sam before but still you know um, John McBain, you can hop on a jet and take your ass back to Landview because I don't really care about you. Just thought I'd point that out. Um, anyway, moving on from that. AJ. Okay, let me just clear some things up about what AJ accused Sonny of doing. He accused Sonny of running the story about ELQ using mob money to front ELQ. Here's the thing. I know what a lot of y'all are, some of y'all are thinking is that he tried to manipulate Michael and turn Michael against Sonny. That's far from the truth. Here's the reason why I say that. Here's the reason why I say that. He, AJ saw Sonny coming out of Tracy's office when she was still EL, when she was still CEO. And when he asked Sonny why was he there, Sonny said business. So it made sense to think Sonny would probably use that story because Sonny, it don't make sense in a weird way for Tracy to do it because Tracy would go to prison. Um, so I could definitely understand that, even though Tracy really did print that story, even though now she regrets it. But what's done is done. And this is gonna and and it's gonna cause major problems. Connie pointed the finger at Sonny and told AJ and Michael Sonny was the one that printed the story. I was like, oh shit, Connie. Now you about to really see the devil come out of Sonny. I'm gonna tell you that right now, because I can tell Sonny about to go off on tomorrow's episode. And Sonny gonna go into Connie's office to try to get her to drop the charges against Christina by giving her a kiss and trying to give her some dick. I'm like, Sonny, giving a woman some sexual pleasure ain't going to get them to always do what you want them to do. And Connie saw right through that bullshit. She knew he was just, she was just, he was just using her to get Christina out. And Alexis told me she's the better, told me she's the best attorney in Port Charles. Bitch, no, you're not. Your work as an attorney is subpar at best. I'm like, Diane is the better attorney because if Alexis was the better attorney, Christina would be out of bail by now. And I don't get why Olivia talking about what the hell is Connie thinking by having Christina arrested. Hello, the bitch tried to kill her. I would have the bitch arrested too. That's attempted murder plus assault and battery and assault with a deadly weapon. She had a baseball bat and she threatened her life the fuck is wrong with y'all like seriously how could y'all be on Christina's side on this like I don't get it the actress is lame and the character is just ditzy like seriously just dumb like 
I would not ever agree with Christina when she makes bratty decisions. And Connie was right. Christina ain't nothing but a spoiled little brat. That's all she is. A little trust fund baby. Um. Anyway, the scene with Alice and Tracy was fucking hilarious. Alice pulled a fucking lead pipe out of her purse and some other thing out of her purse. I'm like, Alice, what is you doing with all these weapons, girl? Don't you know that they could lock you up for this shit? Girl got weapons in that big ass purse. I'm like, the hell is Alice is my girl. I love Alice. Then she had the nerve to read Ned's letter upside down. And then instead of saying Will, she said Mill. I was like, I'm done. Alice is a nut. And Tracy was just getting heated by the minute sitting there trying to read that damn letter. So apparently there's another quarter main ear, of course, Lauren Frank. A.K.A. Franco's daughter. Uh, whatever about that. Um, anyway. Now I guess Connie and Tracy are frenemies, I suppose. They're now besties. Whatever. Um, Star. I don't care what nobody say. Because you know what? I'm about to go off on Star. And I really don't care what nobody has to say about what I'm about to say. Star is a bitch. I'm sorry, but she claimed... She don't care about Todd. That she don't want Todd in her life. She's done with Todd. But yet you go to the Fern Cliff. And talk to Todd. What sense does that make? She claims she's done with Todd. But she goes to Fern Cliff. She goes to Fern Cliff. And like lay into him like what was the point of you going to Ferncliff if you're just gonna get mad and yell at him then on top of that the bitch had the nerve to blackmail Todd sitting there telling him oh if you don't tell the truth and take responsibility for your actions I'm gonna hold that tape up against you a tape that's like 15 years old that tape is what back 1998 and then got the nerve to talk about oh tell the doctors I want to meet with the doctors and sit in on the um, evaluation. What right does she have to sit in on the evaluation? So what if you're his daughter? You ain't got no rights. He's the grown parent. She just so fucking disloyal. Like, I just, I'm over a star with her dramatic ass. Anyway, moving on. Um, Lucy Coe and Todd, that whole conversation was just weird. He wants her to tell people that he's crazy. In exchange, he'll tell people she's sane. That whole car, and then they're sitting there playing board games. I'm like, they're crazy as a bed bug. Like, seriously, they're just crazy as fuck. Like, I cannot take Todd and Connie together. They're just ridiculous. Um. Anyway, Kevin, I hope Kevin sticks around for a while in Poor Charles. It'll be good to see him and Lucy, you know, just reunite. But I'm just done with this vampire storyline. I think Todd is a better fit on this show than John McBain. Because at least they give Todd his own storylines. John McBain is getting storylines from a show that's been dead for 10 years. That's the best they can do for John McBain is give him a storyline that's been over for 10 years. Like, you're going to give him a storyline from a show that's been dead and buried for 10 years. That's the best they can do for John McBain. Then when One Life to Live comes back, you might as well just bring him back. Because you're not giving him his own storyline. Then you got this murder mystery. Me, personally, I love murder mysteries. It depends. Um, that's the best they can do for John McBain. And then when... Allison came into the police station. She walked in and saw John. Here we go with the Caleb Morley stuff. I mean, it's great to see Allison and Rafe and stuff like that, but I am just over this vampire shit. Like, this is not poor Charles. They're just trying to give the show a continuation on General Hospital, and I think it's dumb. Like, that show has been dead for 10 years. Let it stay dead. Um. Oh, yeah, it was good to see Monica today. Um, because we hardly ever get to see Monica. Olivia. <sighs> Olivia, just whatever. Like, how how are you going to be on Christina's side? I'm just pissed at Olivia, like, seriously. Um, well, Sonny is a jackass. 
sitting there talking about some Michael ain't never going to be no quarter man. How are you going to say where Michael is never going to be? He's a grown man. First of all, he's the quarter man by blood. Whether Sonny likes it or not, AJ's his father. Sonny can't erase AJ as his father. And people talking about Sonny is a better father than AJ. Uh, yeah, I question that. Look at everything that happened to Michael while he's been a Corinthos. Kidnapped, shot at, actually got shot, sent to prison, raped in prison. What kind of life is that? And he had to be on the run when he was going through that murder trial. When Sonny went through the murder trial for Claudia, Michael had to go on the run. What kind of shit is that? Michael wanted to be in the mob because of Sonny. Are you serious? And he's a better father than AJ? I beg to differ. Anyway, today's episode was uh, great. Um, Tracy, seriously, how selfish can you be? Of course. Sam, she really needs to get the hell away from John McBain like now. I am so tired of John McBain. I just want to throw up. I can't stand that dude. Like, seriously, he annoys me. Anyway, um, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Oh, I meant to address something. Because people, somebody's asked me about y &R. I did watch The Young and the Restless yesterday and today. Steve Burton, phenomenal as Dylan McAvoy. Let me just say that. He killed it. Nick Newman better watch his ass. Um, as far as me doing y &R videos, I suspended y &R videos. Me doing y &R videos, I suspended it because... If you notice the views, I view, when you go on YouTube and you upload a video, you know your views and stuff, I see that as ratings. And if the views are too low, I'll stop doing a video if the views are too low because I, I view them as ratings. So those are my ratings. It's like a TV show. You know, they get a million ratings, you know, a million viewers. I don't, I'm not looking for a million viewers, but if I get a substantial enough of viewers, I'll continue just to answer that question. Um, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a great day.